everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, uh, welcome. I really hope you find something that blesses you today. So my name is S.E. Drake and I'm a Christian murder mystery author. Today's video is a little different from what I normally do. Today is more of a cultural commentary thing, but this is something that's near and dear to my heart and I've wanted to do this for a very long time. So it's no surprise to the average person whenever I say that my generation is no longer a Christian generation. We are a post-Christian generation. But something that I've been saying for a long time is that not only are we a post-Christian nation now with a post-Christian generation coming up, it is a pagan and spiritualist generation. A nation where Wicca, New Age, Druid, Isle of Goddess worship, spiritualist practices are just openly practiced and accepted as normal. And this might surprise some people, but if you look around our nation, that's just what you're going to see. New Age is the largest growing religion in the United States, and I feel like I just can't turn around without seeing some sort of new occult or crystal shop. And people often say to me, okay, you've been complaining about this, like how did this happen? How did this come into our nation? And I'm adamant that it came in through our media. A wise man once said that he who writes the ballads of today writes the laws of tomorrow. And that's pretty much what happened. Different TV shows throughout the past couple decades, like Bewitched and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, have really normalized this thought pattern, and a lot of it is still coming in through our media. So yesterday, my mom and I were driving through Missouri, and we came across a Barnes & Noble. So I wanted to just go in there and see what all I could find. So we pulled into the parking lot, I got out my phone, set a 12 minute timer, and I just ran in, and my goal was to see in that space of 12 minutes how many different books I could find that support or taught these different uh, Eastern cultic ideas. Here's the video. I was really shocked with what all I found, and I think you will be too. Okay, go. Ooh, okay, let's see what we got over here. So, health and wellness, this whole section, this looks interesting. So, creative care, nah, that doesn't look too bad. Natural healing, hmm, plants that heal, oh, okay, right here. So, plants that heal, this is an introduction to looks like medicinal plants, but that can also be used in a lot of different um, druid and new age activities. And then, right down here, we have, ooh, yeah, energy medicine. Yep, okay, so this is the colors here, and then also the symbol kind of links it to some different Buddhist and new age practices. Um, Probably not much in the cooking. Ooh, Stephen King section. Mm, the classics. Fiction. Ooh, some great classic fiction here. Okay, so we're coming to some more like teen fiction and um, I'm already finding right, right here the witch's heart and the symbol on it is Celtic symbols which is actually um, very interesting when you look at that because although a lot of Celtic symbols were later converted into Christian symbols it also has roots in Druidism and some Wicca and New Age stuff uses it. So let's look at the back. Okay, so witch and seer, so the fact that they say seer lets me know that there's going to be, like, some sort of cultic activity. So, oh, yep, right here, Odin. So this is actually going to be teaching about um, Norse deities that actually were worshipped. So there's that. Hmm. Some stuff here looks interesting, but I'm like, eh, not really sure what I think about this. Huh. 
Okay. Oh, okay, this is really interesting. So, Circe, this was a Greek pagan deity. Once again, we're seeing kind of some Celtic look right here on the cover. Yeah, this is going to be about the god of the sun. And so this is about the goddess Circe. She was in the Odyssey. So, a uh, very interesting character. She actually inspired some works in C.S. Lewis, but that can change the fact that she is a pagan deity who is a character in this book. And um, worship of pagan deities is coming back. So, that's really interesting to me that we're seeing this in our culture and obviously very, very concerning. Okay, this just looks interesting right here. Hmm. Fold reduced into a world where cats talk, fish fall from the sky, and the spirits slip out of their bodies. Yeah, okay. I'm not even gonna read the rest of that. You can if you want to. Once again, and it was kind of the coloring... And also the lines on the cover that tip me off. This is probably something about spiritualism and reading the back. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Myths and legends retold. Oh, my goodness. Look at this whole section right there. Oh, look. The Weaver, the Witch, and the Queen. Hmm. Yeah, already. Witch's Heart. So I guess Witch's Heart's the precursor to this. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. Psyche and Eros. Okay, so once again, this is Greek. Oh. This whole section here is really interesting. Don't know if I have time to go through it all. Oh, here's the kids section. Let's see what we find over... Oh, my lands. Okay. This looks really interesting. Okay, so that's this is um, all Wiccan and New Age symbols, prophecies, and secret knowledge, and other prophets. Okay, so this is a book about, looks like fortune-telling, soothsaying, many things that the Bible forbids, of course. The ability to see into the future. Oh, wow, I can't tell if this is like a fiction book or a book on how to actually do it. Let me see. The ability to see into the future to account predict events is fascinating yet frightened humanity for thousands of years. It's far okay, so this looks like it's a nonfiction book, which is even scarier. And oh, look, see what I found right next to it? Tarot card coloring book. These are actual cards, folks, that we're exposing our kids to. Oh, here's a book on even on how to read the tarot. It says reveal your past. Yeah, that that sounds good. Oh, look. Because we all need a divination book on how to find your personal guides. This section speaks even more loudly than the other sections. Hmm. Well, spellbinders right here. I mean, I don't know what this is, but it's concerning looking. Got Star Wars, Stranger Things, okay. oh, Hocus Pocus. Yeah, so I've not actually seen the movie Hocus Pocus. I really need to see it at some point because uh, just heard some really interesting things about it. But just seeing this here, yeah. it's kind of like seeing Harry Potter here. It set some alarm bells off. But unlike Hocus Pocus, I am familiar with Harry Potter. Check out my blog from my Facebook if you want more information. Uh, yeah, it actually should raise alarm bells with Christians because it teaches actual functional witchcraft, much like the books I found over there. So let's keep you. Oh, well, look at this right here. Sonnets of a Sorcerer. 
weird wizarding, wizarding dilemmas. Oh, man, I don't know what this is. It looks like Harry Potter, but I'm... <sighs> oh, oops, Dumbledore. Um... Ooh, Indiana Jones. Hey, Dune. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Jurassic Park chess set. I am not here for that. Oh, well. Oh. Here, folks, let's look at this. This is just about as bad as... So there's books over there on how to contact your psyche. Right here is an actual occult tool, so you can contact your own demon right here from this store. I think I already went this way. Oh, yeah, we're getting kind of out of the books right here, but I'm finding some Dungeons and Dragons paraphernalia. Um, kind of like Harry Potter, I've not read Dungeons and Dragons, so I can't actually speak about it, but it sets alarm bells off with me. I probably need to go back this way because I'm out of the books, but I hope that what you've seen thus far has shown you that maybe we do have a little bit of a problem here. And, oh, look look here. Look at this whole section. So, your own collection of Harry Potter wands so you can get your wand to pretend to practice actual magic with them. Oh, Quidditch, Hogwarts, look at all this. The no my lands. Yeah, that's fun. Let's see, what all do we actually have here? I don't even know what that is, but it looks scary and it says dark arts on it. Oh, a, a sorting hat, in case you need a sorting hat. And then, of course, you have all the books here, including um, Cursed Child, which is... Cursed Child's kind of an extra. Uh, that's nice and fun. Um, yeah. So, like I said before, if you're not familiar with Harry Potter, I really encourage you to hop on my blog and which is shared through Facebook and just kind of see what I say about it there. It does teach real functional witchcraft and how to perform it. So I really urge you, if you're a Christian parent, not to expose your child to this. Um, in addition, it's just also teaches rebellion. It has a lot of lewd language and lewd content. So, you know, witchcraft is a big issue, but there are other issues in the series as well. Oh man, there's like all kinds of Harry Potter stuff over here. Ooh, religion. Okay, religion. So we got Christian stuff here. I'm not sure, like, who all it has. Oh, like, Joel Osteen. Okay, so even the Christian section here is kind of... Oh, they got the screw tape letters. That's nice. I think. So we've got some Bibles here. And now we're... Okay, thank you guys so much for watching that video and putting up with me, especially when I kept getting distracted or going down the same aisle accidentally. But wow, I'm really surprised and shocked at what I found. In 12 minutes, I found over 15 different books and tools that was geared towards teaching this type of mindset. Now, some of the books I found, you saw them in the video. It's teaching your kids. They were in the kids section how to read the tarot cards, or um, one of them said divination, so I'm not sure if it was teaching like how to use tea leaves or how to be a medium or whatever this is. And then they had the Ouija board. And this is just an occult tool. This is teaching you how to practice magic and divination and how to contact the spirit world, which is something that the Bible forbids. Additionally, I saw a lot of books that were rewrites of Greek and Norse and just different pagan myths. And some of it actually said like the witch on it and linked it to cultic activity. But even for the ones that didn't like come right out and say this is about a witch, I was still very concerned because Wicca, New Age, and Isle of Goddess practitioners worship, or at least some of them worship, the old Greek and Roman pagan deities and Norse deities as well. Seeing this was a real hallmark for me of where our nation's going. Additionally, you saw Harry Potter on there and you also saw um, Hocus Pocus stuff and Dungeons and Dragons. And like I said in the video, unlike Harry Potter, 
I've not watched Hocus Pocus and I've never played Dungeons and Dragons and I've seen like the books that they have in bookstores. Like I'll be in Books a Million and I'll pick it up and kind of look at it, but I've never actually read any of the Dungeons and Dragons books. But just some of the stuff I've heard about them causes me to think that, you know, maybe we should look at this a little more closely before we expose our kids to this. Now I would like to say if you're watching this and if you are a new age practitioner or if you identify as Wiccan, um, welcome to my channel. I love you. I'm really glad that you're here, but I'm concerned for your soul. And I really, really hope it is my deep prayer that you find Jesus and that you can find new life in him. So thank you for joining me for my adventure through the bookstore. I hope I opened up your eyes about some of what's out there. And if you're a Christian parent, I really hope that this inspires you to take a deeper look at what your kids are watching and reading and the games that they are playing.